My name is Kevin King and I'm a sales manager with the Lion Electric Company. We're down in Rockville today with one of our school buses, a Lion C, in support of the Montgomery County initiative to upgrade their fleet to newer technology and, and specifically electric school buses. Lion is a leading manufacturer of electric school buses in North America. At the present time, we've deployed close to 375 buses and our buses have driven over 6 million miles. Our buses are purpose built to be electric. We are the leading manufacturer of electric school buses and trucks in North America. Our composite body bus complies with all federal motor vehicle safety standard regulations as well as the state of Maryland. Good morning. Welcome to Rockville, Maryland. My name is Rick Lee. I'm the director of U.S. Sales for Lion Electric. Uh, today, I'd like to take you inside our Lion Electric school bus to talk about the features that our driver's area offers in terms of service and maintenance, but more importantly, the safety of the children. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the electric vehicle on. And, and it's it's a unique way of starting a vehicle compared to diesel fuel. So I've turned the on switch on. What you're hearing now is the system turning on and acknowledging that it's time to run. So now I'm gonna turn the key. I'm gonna hold it for three seconds. That engages the batteries into, into a start position. Currently the vehicle is running and what's so neat about this is we talk about zero emissions. It's the quietness of a school bus. Uh, it's important to understand that um, the driver now has a better idea of what's happening behind her or him. Uh, children uh, sometimes can be loud and unruly. Traditional fossil fuel, the driver never hears that going on. We talk about bullying in high school and in the public school systems. Now the driver will have a better idea of the conduct that the children providing a more safer environment for the kids to get to school. One of the benefits of Align Electric, we've took in consideration the drivers and how we place our switches and our different levers so that the driver has full vision in front of them and they don't have to take their eyes off the road. One of the unique features about the Lion Electric bus, as you can hear the ice cream machine outside, is we have a noise maker. So when you are under 20 miles an hour, all the uh, public people and, and children in the area are notified that there's a quiet electric vehicle coming to a intersection. So we don't surprise any kids compared to a loud diesel vehicle. My name is Burke Gorman. I'm an attorney here in Maryland, and I grew up in Montgomery County. And Montgomery County is a leader in public school education in the country. And in addition, it is adopting a new and advanced program with its electric school buses and leading the country into the future with electric school buses, which I think is really exciting. In the case of Montgomery County electric school buses, you have a lot of options. Lion Electric, the bus behind me, is the best electric school bus made. It uses a composite material rather than steel and therefore weighs less, but much more importantly, it uses alternating current or direct current. But the most important thing for the Montgomery County Board of Education to consider, it would seem to me, is cost. With one proposal, money that is earned passing electricity back to the grid will be retained by Montgomery County, the school board, and the taxpayers. In another proposal, that money goes to the middleman. And that's not probably the best idea. But I wanna say as a citizen of Montgomery County, we're very excited about this. The quieter buses are important to us, the safety is important to us, and certainly the savings is, are important to us. Under a proposal by Autoflex, money will come back to the county. That's much better. Now, another thing, as, as a lifelong resident here, and someone who's had his sisters and brothers in Montgomery County Public Schools and children educated here, I think it's very important to have a local company, a company with 35 years experience in electric vehicles. I don't think it's a great idea to go with an untested company from another state that's got two years experience in the business. Again, the important thing is to have the experts study it. We have the Maryland Department of Transportation. These are experts. We have experts within the county. It's worth looking at the proposal and studying it. There is no need to rush on a plan that is going to go over the next 10 years and replace all of the school buses. Let's get it right. That's what matters. Thank you.
tend to dump a lot of road salt in the winter time. So with it being a composite body, it uh, resists corrosion and rusting out. So it'll, it'll hold up better than a full steel body would. Hi, my name is Dick Johnson. I'm the Northeast sales rep for Nuvi. Nuvi is a global company based in San Diego, founded on and dedicated to vehicle to grid technology. Currently, we're the only company that has the capability to perform vehicle to grid with vehicles in the United States. To perform vehicle to grid requires the customer to purchase our internet capable bi-directional charging system that allows the vehicle to communicate through our patented software system, Grid Integrated Vehicle, G-I-V-E software. So Nuvi is actually looking for more school districts to demonstrate this technology with. And so Montgomery County is one of the primary targets that we'd like to start at. Right now we have a demonstration project going on at White Plains School District in White Plains, New York. So hope this gives you a little background on Vehicle to Grid, on Nuvi, and the fact that the technology has been around for 12 years. Thank you. Hi, I'm Don Combs from Colonial Equipment Company. I'm the president and founder. We're located in Monrovia, Maryland. We have a dedicated facility here. It was a purpose built to service buses and all kinds of transportation equipment. We have 16 foot bay doors that are necessary to take care of double decker buses, which we've also serviced here. We have a dedicated wash bay. Our technicians are all ASA certified, SAE certified. And we have, uh, we are heavy into technology of not only the gas and uh, diesel engines, but also hybrid technology, electrification of the fleet, dedicated electri electrification, as well as alternate fuel technologies on all of our vehicles. We look forward to working with our customers. We like a partnership, we prefer a partnership. This isn't one and done. We, we start a project with somebody, we stay with them a long time. We're looking forward to helping the Montgomery County project go forward as a electrification, and we will be the support person for Lion Bus and also Autoflex. Looking forward to it, thank you.